So we start out, I believe we start with our uh, missions. missions. So we each get six missions. Shuffle. I don't trust you. Shuffle them better. Is that better? All right. All right. Uh, go ahead. That's not a mission, you knew. Oh, those missions. <sighs> I can already tell this is going to be long. Yep. Okay, so um, now that that's done, I believe it's the uh, dilemma phase first, mm -hmm. or next. So we have to see our dilemmas that we're going to encounter when we attempt missions. And we can... This is going to be funny because I don't know what any of these cards do, so... Seating dilemmas... That makes it more fun. ...going to be... Okay, difficult, no but, problem. Uh, you know, with the, with the first edition game that we used to play, um, every single mission would have a certain combo of sorts of dilemmas that we would kind of plan ahead of time. We'd know that certain effects would happen, and we'd use them in combination so that when someone would attempt a mission, they'd have to really, you know, I guess cross a, uh, or pay, pay a heavy price in order to complete the mission. Caretaker's Array. Mm -hmm. Seeds at the Okampa planet. And that allows me to... Um, That allows me to also see the uh, Voyager there, uh, which allows me to report Federation Delta Quadrant personnel for duty, because otherwise I'd be screwed. So, boarding party, which allows me to ram ships. You like ramming things, don't you? Uh, I am Kazon. <laughs> so then, I think we start with seven cards. Seven right? cards. You don't have any red alerts in this, do you? No. This is going to be a very slow game, folks. No red alerts, but there's also no Kevin Uxbridge or Amanda Rogers. Amanda Hug and Kiss? Amanda Hug and Kiss. Which are essentially just interrupt killers and event killers, which just modify the terms of the game. And usually they end up being these huge long chains of action where somebody plays a, uh, an interrupt and then it gets an interrupt of an interrupt and an interrupt of an interrupt of an interrupt and it ends up being a, a kind of clusterfuck. Clusterfuck. <laughs> I don't have transporters. That's because the Kazon suck. Minus, report for duty. Oh, really? Mm hmm. Well, I. The force is with you. <laughs> I hate you. I'm going to report with crew of up to three. I'm going to report a Type 9 shuttlecraft at the Caretaker's Array. How'd you get all that shit out there so far? Oh, wait, you, you already had it. Yeah, the seed thing, got it. With Tom Harris and Harry Kim. That is bullshit. Actually, no, they're going to beam over to the Voyager, because I have beaming technology. No, I'll show you beaming technology. Uh, since I have nothing like that, that allows me to report a crap load of shit in one turn, <laughs> I am going to report... But, but you have an outpost. But I have an outpost. Loran, for duty. The force is with you. All right. Oh, great, that'll help. Uh, since I have a Federation engine... Since I have a Federation engineer in Tom Paris, because mm -hmm. he's engineer somehow, yeah. um, at this Federation site, he's going to build himself an outpost. Good for him. Oh, look at this. The Federation is expanding into the Delta. What's he going to call the outpost? Is he going to call it Paris? New Paris? No, he's not. Maybe no. Rome. Rome. Yeah. I'm going to blow that thing up the first opportunity I get. Her, Harry, and Tom are going to undock, and they're going to travel back... That sounds really dirty. <laughs> going to have a... Never mind. Uh, they're going to undock and go back to the Caretaker's Array. Go ahead. And they're going to make little babies. Little, shoddy babies. All right, well, this card is total horseshit, but I'm going to play it anyway. Transporter Control Module, which allows me to beam people from my outpost. Don't you need an engineer or something? Uh, if I want to beam people, but it's just equipment in the away team. As a matter of fact, I don't have an engineer right now. That's okay. Uh, <laughs> you got a little case on just looking at your transporter module. <gasps> <laughs> Mate, go. 
Make us go. Oh, that's a different card. Catherine Janeway is reporting for duty. Oh. Aboard the Voyager. Oh. oh, yes. How is it that, that you actually sound better than she does? By doing an impression of her. Too much practice. Which is why I'll be reporting Neelix for duty. Because Neelix is an engineer. He swings both ways. Hey, engineer, my asshole. Uh, he's an engineer. Says right there. Yeah, right. Forces with you. <coughs> okay. Whoa! Oh, sorry. Uh, <laughs> so this is where it gets kind of silly. So here, I'll report my warship. Okay. And they beam themselves up to the warship, including the equipment <laughs> that beam them there. <laughs> Damn. I don't like that thing. And then I will woodchuck them. And the force is with me. Stadi is reporting for duty. Mm -hmm. This is her twin. Stadi the second. Stadi the second. That's why her name is Stadi and not Stadt. I don't know what that means, but okay. All right, I've had enough. Oh, you've had enough, <laughs> had enough of holding your cards in your hand. You decided to throw them on the floor. I've had enough of this foolishness. Voyager is going to undock. Good. And then? I hope you come right over to the Kazon outpost so I can blow your ass into the next century. I don't think I'll be doing that. I do think, however, I will be attempting this mission. That's upside down. Uh, Lack of preparation. Oh, well, you had it, I think. Yeah, I got it. I got medical... Medical from Tom Paris, physics from Janeway, biology from Paris, and navigation from Paris. Tom well, Paris. he did build the fucking outpost there. Ankari spirits. Unless, oh shit. Please tell me you are fucked. <laughs> Three honor. Oh, Stadi has honor. That's oh, Stadi has honor. has honor. And, come on. No, Harry Kim. <gasps> what, you bastards don't have honor? Harry Kim has no honor. Harry Kim is dishonorable. Place on ship. Now and start of each turn kills two crew members. Yes! Oh, Cha-ching! <laughs> you know who I'm hoping gets killed first? It's sure. random selection, isn't it? It is. It's Paris. Because if we kill him, then he can be made a martyr for his new outpost that he built. <laughs> Alright, and as usual with the random selection process, he will spread them out in front of me and I will grab two of them. Ah, oh, motherfucker. <laughs> Captain Jadeway goes to your discard pile. And then so does Harry Kim. No one really cares about Harry. No. Kills another two people. Come on, Tom Paris. Come on, Tom Paris. Haha, ha, doctor. He just deactivated. Ah, you got a shoddy. Bitch. Is that Ricky Lake? No. It looks like Ricky Lake. No. She was on Jericho, though. It looks like Ricky Lake. She was like the uh, IRS agent on Jericho. You never saw Jericho. No. Nope. That's good to start. Okay. You know, it makes you wonder why Tom didn't just, just didn't do this. Oh. Why didn't Tom just build an outpost in the middle of space in the show? It would have made so much more sense. I am going to report <coughs> Thompson. He might not have much in terms of naming, but... Thompson! He's got archaeology. Probably one of the reasons that everybody hated the techno battle on Voyager. I love my next gen techno battle. Hey, next gen techno battle is pulled off flawlessly by LeVar Burton. Did you hear that Reading Rainbow was going up to you? No, come on. After like 26 years. Be serious. No, I'm serious. Be serious. Okay. Someone killed my science captain. <laughs> what? Tom Paris can't do science? No. Nope. Science! <laughs> now. They all beam down in one big happy family to the Kazon Conference. Okay. Here we go. 